Welcome, 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 Internet, back to Crash Test Gaming. Today we are looking at Arms Tycoon, Trade Tycoon Tanks. And we are extremely lucky. Fungi, the developer, has given us access to their press release. And this is uh, the early access release, a week early. So we are going to be able to look at the game on... I mean, it's still not completely ready for release but it's it's a very close version as to what's going to be releasing on February the 6th when the game enters early access on Steam for the first time and everyone can jump on board so we're going to be looking at it over the next week in terms of a let's play to look at all the different facets of the game and see how much it's improved since beta which was only a short time ago but we can uh, we can be assured that uh, the devs have been hard at work because it's now from the two year slice we saw at beta we've got a 20 year slice from 1914 to 1934 so that covers the period of world war one and the interwar years and so basically 20 years we've got over 60 texts to uh, world war one technologies to explore we've got at least 12 tanks in the game six british three French, three German, um, so there should be plenty of opportunity for us to um, to include some cursed design tanks crossing over designs from Germany and France and uh, Britain to make the best fighting machines that we can. Our goal as always will be to make the maximum amount of money possible but our real goal is just to see as much of the uh, the features of the game as possible in this uh, Let's Play. So if there's anything in particular you want to see about the game, any designs you want to look at, if there was any buildings that you wanted built or anything like that, feel free to just add your ideas in the comments. I'll be recording every day, putting up a video every day for the next week. So just let me know what you want to do and I will uh, endeavour to get it done through this, uh, this uh, playthrough. And then you can decide whether it's something that you want to jump on board when the early access becomes available uh, at the end of the first week of February. So without further ado, we'll, uh, we'll go into the game. We can already see that the uh, the UI's improved. It comes on leaps and bounds. Just the, the general graphics are just sharper. Um, if we pop over to the world map, you'll see that the world is largely expanded from the beta where we just had the European countries. We've got the Balklands here. Represented, we've got a very colonial Africa as it was at the uh, beginning of the 1900s. Represented, so when the European powers start some argy bargy between them, they will be fighting all over, all over the place. Well, the potential is there, as well as I mean, smaller countries like uh, Liberia is there. Although I wonder if that's that should be a vassal of the U.S., but the U.S. Uh, isn't uh, isn't in the map yet, so not quite yet. There's still still a bit of work to go, as you can see, but this is where the early access will be starting off, which is a good start. It's a good start for this game, and uh, I'd love to see the development moving forward the way it has. They took about a year to, to complete the, the change from 2D to 3D, but now that it's over, we should be seeing a whole lot of content coming through on this game, which will be great, because uh, this is really right up my alley, so... Here's the map, There's the same pretty much as beta. We shall uh, begin off by just building um, a bunch of buildings that we probably should build. We've, we're starting with 800k in the bank, so that's definitely uh, a fair bit more. That uh, There'll be little changes all over the place like this, I presume. 800,000 in the bank. I think uh, we started at 500,000 in the beta, so I might go a bit crazy and build a lot of buildings. We need some medical stations, we need fire stations, we know how debilitating fires can be in this game. Maintenance office would be a good idea. We'll go to the production for. We'll want to hire more workers. One of my aims uh, in this playthrough will be to see how high tiers I can move these buildings onto, and whether it's, uh, it's capped by time, so it might take till after World War One before we can get above tier one or whether it's a building set off where we have to have an, a certain amount of buildings or sub buildings for each building before we can get it up to tier two and whether we can open the uh, multiple assembly lines yet build a riveting hall as well that'll do for production for now i will uh, i'll build more buildings there as we make money because i'm uh, already rushing through the money definitely need ergonomics for our research office we need more researchers and we might build a 
across the board actually on research which is probably get through those texts as quickly as possible well I have spent a lot of money already okay I might slow down on the spending money and wait till I get my first contract or two but that'll do as a good start as a good start and we will select our research so if we go to the research screen we'll see this is uh, very much the same as it was in beta we've got tier 2 there now although we can't actually access the tier 2 screen yet so maybe we need to finish off uh, each of each of these sections first before the the tier 2 will open up so I might start with mobility I think as we yeah, that still takes five mechanic points to maintain the center page tracks and only one mechanic for the warhorse I think the warhorse tracks are a priority I will research those first so my plan is I'll probably get the warhorse tracks I'll probably get the twin engine to just do a base upgraded design for our tank I'll also look at uh, upgrading the machine guns uh, solid shot round so we can fire other armored vehicles armored cars armored trains which will be on the map and will be in the battles uh, the devs have let us know that the amount of possible enemies that you can fight in wars has expanded and um, then we'll look at getting better steel and I'm not sure where to prioritize the female mark one uh, turret whether I should I mean I could research that straight away and just go for an anti-infantry tank which I mean at the beginning is when that would be most effective because all it's going to fight is infantry but uh, strategic decisions strategic decisions I, I'm going to stick with the mobility for now but uh, as you can see you can make a lot of different decisions in this game that will uh, change the direction of your company and if we go to engineering this is looks like we've got our base designs are completed already so we won't have to do any engineering to start off with we've got some guns we've got sponsons we've got a basic engine and we've got some basic tracks and as you can see we we can basically take a a base model so the centipede tracks and then as we do more research obviously we get more more options for things but then we we choose what idler we want, road wheels we want, and as we get uh, more researchers unlocked, we can select between four or five different things. And uh, then we engineer the components, and then we finally put them together to build a tank, which we do under design, and we will get a prototype tank begun to um, begin our... just so that we have something designed. I guess in case of contract I'm not sure when our contract first contract is going to arrive but we'll get a tank designed just a very basic tank we'll put some male sponsons on to hold guns a couple of Hotchkiss six pounders and a Lewis machine gun at the front will be our first basic tank we see the stats down the side along with um, as we design the tank we as you can see you have green yellow and red indicators defining uh, how your uh, crew and volume and mass and everything is going and you can get defects on your tank as you go which uh, provide a malice to your uh, the statistical effectiveness of your tank basically which you then need to combat by testing your tank and uh, you can never quite get rid of them all but you can you can get rid of some of the defects so we shall put a crew in our tank we'll need a commander driver we'll need a couple of gunners a couple of loaders a couple of mechanics and we're just filling up the points here on the side and we'll need a mechanic gunner there we go so now we've got some red indicators showing that there probably is better designs for this where there's not much room in the tank with there's nine people in the tank so obviously yes there is no room in the tank they're all cramped together unfortunately and they don't like it very much and the tank's doing okay with mass it's the 30 ton tank could be 33 tons if we pushed it to the absolute limit but uh that's okay now we add in 
our ammunition. We've only got HE ammunition at the beginning with standard machine gun ammo and some petrol. And we begin the paint job. We'll just, I don't think this is going to really see action. So hopefully we'll get a better design tank out for our first contract. But if we have to produce something in a hurry, this will be the Mark 1 prototype. We will begin building and we shall visit the warehouse and we'll be ordering some goods. So the amounts that we can order has definitely increased. And the price structure seems about the same. For, for everything we order, there's, uh, there's the time it takes. So this will take 12 days, but there's a medium chance that it will be delayed up to seven days. So those are things that we need to take into account. So you, this is very much a pre-planning exercise. We uh, Africa seems very cheap, so we might uh, buy some goods from there to begin with. Only takes 17 days, but very unreliable deliveries. So I think we'll uh, cheaply from Africa. So that's 116,000 worth of goods, 17 days away. We'll order those right at the beginning. And turn to the factory ground. So we've done a few things to begin with. We've, we don't need to engineer anything quite yet. We've started designing a prototype tank. We've decided to upgrade a whole lot of buildings. We're getting more resources in, so we shall get things started. There's a small tutorial here, but we played through this in the beta, so I think we can safely ignore the tutorial messages. And the, the government news is that more tanks are required. More tanks. Following the early success of tanks on the battlefield, the High Command is ready to form additional tank regiments. Alright, that's good news for us because tanks is what we're in the game of selling. And Africa was late, so that's going to be an extra two weeks. So, good thing we're not in a rush for any of those. Yep, yeah, we've already got a research project going. We will... We just got the tracks, so we'll switch over to the twin engine. The Tyler twin engine, which was once on London B-type buses. So... 90 horsepower at a thousand revolutions per minute. So we will get building on that. Or we'll get researching, not building, researching rather. Telling us that fire is uh, a risk that is growing more significant. Let's hope for not a multitude of fires. Okay, the Holt Manufacturing Company. Okay, so these are uh, historical messages still for the beginning of the war, which originally began in August of 1914, which is our start date, was the beginning of World War I. William Tritton, our production specialist, is now available for hire. So we now have to pop across and hire him from administration he's going to cost us three and a half thousand per week so and he gives us a 30 percent bonus to assembly focus which is very much worth the fortune that we are going to pay him three and a half thousand pound a week back in 1914 it was a, a month sorry it was a lot of money okay three days away from having our Engineering is complete. Oh, this is rather is. So we already have a copy of those tracks, so we don't need to do it again. There we go. Design of Mark 1 is complete. So go to the Proving Grounds. I... I still don't think we're going to make this tank, but we're going to test it anyway to get rid of its faults. 
it's only 13,000. If 13,000 is the amount of money that breaks us, then we deserve to go bankrupt. And we might uh, we'll take it for a run around the test drive course to see if there's been any changes here. So the graphics look, in general, a bit sharper. The tanks, tanks look a, a little wider. It's definitely, uh, definitely a sharpening up of the graphics. Uh, in this version over the beta version. So our objective here is in 10 minutes to gain 300 points by driving around the uh, the obstacle course. We should do it in a handy amount of time and uh, hopefully we don't run into too many problems. This was uh, an area where, in the beta, I ran into quite a number of problems with uh, graphical glitches, with um, tanks getting stuck trying to go up and down slopes. So the gun depression seems a little, uh, a little more generous than it was in the beta that's for sure which is a welcome addition we'll just uh, quickly well, quick in this tank is not really that quick we'll pull out our six pounder to take this out <sighs> how could I miss from here as we wait patiently to reload there we go Machine gun is quite satisfying, I must say. If I could actually hit the target, maybe. I'll get closer. Yes, there we go, finally. It's not the most accurate... Uh, weapon in the world and when you couple it with my hideous aim my aiming skills are not the greatest and we'll pop down into the trench and make our way along so this next trench was I think my whippet design in uh, my previous series of videos during the beta absolutely came apart here I could not get it past this part of the course I think that might have I, don't, I know some other uh, people didn't have the same troubles I had so maybe it was just my machine a graphical glitch on uh, on my copy but make it no problems with this tank and uh, in general the, uh, the slopes look a lot uh, nicer the, the graphics look more rounded is that a, a technical uh, explanation? Definitely not, but they do look uh, less less like polygons, I guess, than they, they did in the previous version where the ground cover did look very average. It's looking a lot nicer here. The uh, tank still handles like a stuck pig though. But uh, the, f the general feeling I think of the handling from a player perspective is a step up definitely from the um, from the beta version they had before although I might be saying that too early as I get stuck on this slope. Maybe it's just my driving skills more than likely it is my driving skills. So we are going to make the uh, the obstacle course with plenty of time to spare. And we still have five minutes on the clock. And yep, we're past the trench, so we're pretty much guaranteed to finish in this time. 
So this, uh, I'd say this is probably, apart from the, uh, the graphical interface on the basic um, text that's coming up on the screen in the, in the main game, this is the biggest area of improvement so far between this and this version and the beta version just a month ago the the handling on the test track it feels a lot nicer so we will now 20 days to uh, for the proving grounds for the testing for the tank so those timelines have have gone out further and I think this tank took 35 days to design so that's it was about 20 days before so those times have also been changed since the beta so there's still uh, fiddling with uh, the balance of things so William Tritton has arrived we're going to put him into the production hall he's got a 30% assembly for bonus so that will be a major bonus and boost for when we start producing tanks and get our first contract which hopefully isn't too far off because in a couple of months we'll be taking out a loan and uh, Did we we're not researching anything at the moment that's that's not good i did not press reset start for the twin engine oh gee that that's a massive mistake that's a massive mistake so i've lost i've lost time this this game does punish you for inattention that's probably the biggest mistake of all to make is to spend time not researching so um if there is a developer watching, uh, you could put a little reminder if you start time with uh, nothing researching, you might want to have a reminder to let you know, because uh, that is something I probably do quite often. Although our labs are now built, so we should be researching faster, we're definitely going to hire more engineers, because our ergonomics office is built. So we should be able to fit 10 more engineers on our research staff. We shall hire them. I mean, it would be keep, good to keep them employed and not have them uh, forgetting to research the ergonomics office wasn't finished. Well, now I've got 10 that aren't working. <laughs> Oh, still 19 days left. The Structural Lab, Mobility Lab and Firepower Lab were built. I should read the pop-ups rather than just assuming that all the buildings got built. Oh well. Probably not the greatest. The William Forster tank has finished the Hector Mark 1. So that will likely be partially our competition. Once the first contract comes up and the... Trials are finished for the Mark 1 prototype, so we shall go throw some money at these issues. So there was a penalty to Prestige and a penalty to the crew awareness from Block Vision ports. And by trying to work on it a bit, i.e. throwing money at it, we can reduce that penalty. Not, not take get rid of it altogether, but reduce it and we will just spend money across the board to ensure that all the problems are looked at and we produce the best tank that we possibly can produce so working on it will help increase the prestige of the tank which will directly affect how much we can sell the tank for or the tank's reputation So the prototype is now as good as it could be. Got one more day on research. We'll pick that up. Okay, so we could do petrol. I think we'll go for the solid shot. And then once the solid shot's done, I think we'll make another, we'll make what will be our first tank. 
and we'll go to engineering see if we need to design an engine or whether it comes designed for us we will need to design so we're going the side brakes mark 2 flywheel mark 2 all the uh, parts at this stage are just a straight upgrade in terms of mass volume uh, man hours cost materials everything's just a straight upgrade so we will go with all of those in our engine we could go back and redesign our previous engine the Daimler Knight Mark 1 to have these better parts in it but that will be a job for another time because the the Taylor twin or Tyler rather twin engines are so much better so we shall begin designing that engine I don't think we need to keep on ordering um, material until we get our first contract. Holt and Hornsby Tractors Study. The British Army is enacting a study of tractor design to direct future development. We are already developing the tracks. Medical stations are built, fire stations are built, maintenance office is built, and our ergonomics office is built. So this is something else that's changed. This uh, this was spinning around at a rapid rate of knots when uh, when the game was in beta, but thankfully it slowed down a bit. And you you notice that those buildings actually come up on the 3D map, the the various uh, buildings that we just built. So slowly over time, the the area of our base will get built up as we build more and more extensions to our buildings. So we want to hire more engineers. No, we've already hired the engineers. They're not doing anything. That's a bit silly. Uh, just get out of that. I should be able to add them straight on here. That will cut down the time taken significantly. I could have uh, hired more engineers and built a um, ergonomics op option on the engineering bureau as well but we don't have any cash coming in and there's maintenance on all the buildings so I'm holding off on that at the moment because the amount of engineering we're doing initially for the first year or two isn't that much. Solid shot rounds are now researched. Our engine is ready so we might research RHA steel then we'll go for the female sponson oh should I get that first no no so it's only 17 days but we will start designing a new tank now that the engine's ready because this tank should uh, perform a fair bit better than our last one with the new engine new tracks weapon wise and equipment wise petrol wise it's about the same but it should take less crew because we've saved on engineers on the tracks and it should be a lot more mobile with the better tracks and better uh, better engine so we'll go for the gunners the loader Mechanic, so we save ourselves one mechanic with this new design, which should uh, cut down the amount of um, errors. We also have AP ammo now as well, so this tank can fight other tanks. We might give it a camouflage pattern. That seems suitably garish. 37 days to design so that is a significant increase in design time so we will start designing what shall we call it we will call it the mark one mark one no longer a prototype so hopefully we can get that built and we might visit administration and see about opening up a line of credit considering we've only got uh, just over 150 grand left in the bank. 
So one thing that uh, they could add here is the ability to just enter with keys rather than just the plus and minus button. Maybe there is a way to do that. I'm not sure. We'll um, stretch it out for as long as possible. We don't, we don't want to pay it. Well, I suppose we're paying more interest this way, but we don't want to uh, have too many financial worries in the beginning. We want to pay back as little as possible until we get some contracts under our belt. So we'll get that loan. We are certain we wish to proceed. We could have lasted another month before we needed to take out the loan, but I think better to just get the loan at better safe than sorry in case there's some kind of event happens that loses a bunch of money. So we're 26 days away from our next tank being designed. We are waiting patiently for the first contract. RHA Steel is designed, so we shall now research the female sponson and we shall engineer ourselves a stronger steel cab. Although, if we wait for the sponson, I think we get it. Uh, an extra door option but I think this is good enough we'll keep the wheels on for now because they are adding stats and uh, I've been watching lots of uh, old World War One tank videos and I've been seeing the wheels on quite a few of the British tanks so I'm not as adverse to them anymore okay so why can't I assign that Why is my assign option? I've got no engineers. And that would be because I'm busy designing a tank, so I'd have to hire more engineers. Well, it's a good thing I took out a loan. No, it won't, won't save it. I'll go back and do it again, because I'm a bit of an idiot. And we'll need 20 engineers to work in the engineering bay. And now I'm thinking, do I just hold off and get the... Uh, it's 15 days for the turret, for the sponson, and then I could redesign. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold, hold off on the redesign. So I will just continue time. Oh, contract number one has come up for 20 tanks. Now the problem here is I'm still 17 days away from making my next design so we'll take a look at the contract go to the contract center all right so what are we competing against the Hector which is quite a successful score so they've definitely increased the success scores be interesting to see what sort of score our mark one prototype would get get a 315 it would still come in green but still lose by a fair bit to the competitors offer application deadlines the 30th so I could wait the application deadlines in a month so my new designs only going to be 17 days away and then I I've already got the ergonomics office built in the production hall which is still at tier one. I've got three buildings. Hmm. Yep, I'm going to wait for my design. I think before I go for that contract. The Metropolitan Carriage and Wagon has completed a new design of exploitation type tank the Odysseus so an exploitation tank must be a, a cavalry tank or something to that can advance quickly once the lines are broken I'm assuming so that would be a something akin to a whippet so they got they got that out pretty quick okay and more the Fenrir has been designed so 
but my we're still designing the Mark 1 Mark 1 our research is done I can't forget to do that again so I think the problem is like you you think oh I need everything before I can redesign it but because I'm just if I redesign the main hull and sponsons again I'm going to want more room in them and that's what the bolted assembly will give me so there's no point doing the design until I finish the bolted assembly. That's another 32 days off before I use the edge ears that I already hired. Oh, I'm terrible. See, this is how you don't play this game. I am, I am burning money at the moment. And we are getting a news article on the French 75mm gun onto an all-terrain vehicle. So the French are with a, historically the biggest tank producers in World War One, so that makes sense that uh, they are taking the headlines here. Mark One, Mark One is ready. So, how many workers can I fit? Oh, let's just let's assume that I win the contract. I'll just go for twenty on this first contract. It's going to take 50 days. So that seems like it's going to take longer than it once did. But I can fit 450 workers in there. So let's make 20. So I can fit another 210 workers. So we'll go to administration. So more workers means more chance for fires and things like that. So this isn't necessarily the best way to build tanks by getting a bunch of workers, but I think it's going to be the way I'm doing it to see so we can just into that we don't have to if we could do that with bank loans as well that would be great so we so how long is that going to take 27 days so we have plenty of wiggle room on this contract now so let's go back to trying to win it so what do we need to beat 405 541 so we can Jack the price up a little more. I think the base amount is a lot lower as well than it was in the beta. So if we do a 450 offer, that'll leave us plenty of room. Oh, we'll sell it for 42,000. 20 of them. 9th of the 12th. Uh, my problem is I can never... Is that the 12th of the 9th of the... <laughs> can never figure out uh, which way around the date is here because I'm too used to reading US dates that uh, it completely makes me back to front. We'll assume that it's due in December because it's definitely we can't time travel backwards. So that's 27 days for us to produce them all. So that'll be ready in November, then 15 days to send them off. Yeah, that due date will be fine. Okay. So, we send off our contract, and once we finish the bolts, we'll need to start looking at uh, making a whippet to uh, head off the design of the Odysseus. So that'll be, those tanks will be ready in 27 days, our next research will be ready in 27 days. We don't need to do any engineering. When do we find out about the contract in the next day or two? The wire crusher tank! Wow, it seems like there's a lot of different designs of tanks now. They've definitely added to that. So it'll be interesting to see if we see some of these tank types come up in the contract requirements. Because I'm not sure what to design for anymore. So, okay, 22 days, contract's been accepted. I think we can safely not go to the warehouse and order more. I think we'll try and save as much money as possible. Order it from Africa. We'll use the pre-ordering tool. 
So we'll order enough to make nine tanks. Sign the order. That should be here in 17 days. But it could get delayed for up to two weeks. So we will uh, we'll endeavour to finish this first con contract to finish off this the first episode. And uh, I know what we need to do. We need to drive our improved tank. We need to send it to the proving grounds as well. Rushing things along too quickly and forgetting to do half the things I should be doing. So we shall start that. Here we go. And so one of my complaints with the beta was I could never really feel that much difference between the tanks. They all felt like they handled the same. And this. feels a little heavier it doesn't feel it might be strange to say it could just be in my mind I, I think it, it feels maybe less powerful than the previous tank maybe the tracks are just uh, better and gripping into the soil more but it's definitely uh, it's feeling good But uh, there's also not that much difference between this tank and the, the prototype I had before. It'll be uh, more noticeable when I um, when we design a few of the smaller, faster tanks. So worst aimer. Okay, so if you've been enjoying the video so far, uh, please feel free, throw a like. Uh, if you want to see more of these videos, throw in a sub subscribe. As I said, I'll be um, I'll be releasing a video every day this week to look at as much of the gameplay here as possible. And hopefully in the next episode or two, we'll be getting into making some hybrid tanks and capturing some enemy tanks and melding them with our own. Thanks for stopping by to have a look. This game is coming out on Early Access on Steam, February 6th. I'll have the link in the description below for you to go check out. Uh, I'm not sure if the roadmap's up yet or is it still coming, but there will be a roadmap for the development of the game up. And I'll also throw in a link to the Discord into the description so you can head over there and talk straight with the developers or other people that are patiently waiting for the game to... Uh, to have some hand in the development of it so thanks for watching guys uh please like subscribe it helps the channel out heaps take care have a good time see you later bye